Hey beauties, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're talking BoxyCharm, baby. So today we'll be unboxing our BoxyCharm April Base Box. We'll be trying on some of the products in here. I'll be showing you how I created this look and we'll be talking about my thoughts and first impressions on each one of these products. So if you guys are interested in that, then just make sure you keep on watching. If you're new to my channel, then please subscribe below and become a part of my beauty YouTube education family. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on weekly beauty content. And follow me on Instagram for more on Midnight Moon Makeup. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried any other products I'll be mentioning today. And that's pretty much it. So let's get into it. Don't give us that paparazzi, baby. You know they're always trying to get me. A million dollars at the nice Disclaimers, as always, this video is not sponsored. It is not being paid. I have purchased my own BoxyCharm subscription. I do have the base box. If you guys are interested in getting a BoxyCharm subscription, no matter if you want the base, the premium, or the luxe, feel free to use my referral link down in the description box below. With that link, you earn 500 charms to use in the charm shop, as well as me. So it's a win-win. Let's get at that BoxyCharm subscription. Because guys, you're definitely going to love this subscription box. All reviews and opinions are always 100% honest and authentically me. Because you guys know I am me and you are you. What works for me still may not work for you. Even if we have the same type of concerns such as hyperpigmentation or other skin issues. Even makeup issues or hair issues. So always keep that in mind. So this is our box right here, baby. This is the base box again, and it retails for $27.99. With tax, it's $30. So you pay $30 a month to get five full-size products. You have one choice you can choose from every month. And the retail value for the base box is usually, I believe, over $140, but I will have it written in here for you guys. I think that's an amazing deal for BoxyCharm. And it's a really great way to try new products, whether it's hair, skin, makeup, nails. It's just really cool. And they curate everything to you, so it's even better. I started BoxyCharm in, I believe it was November of last year, and I have not been disappointed. Absolutely love it and will be continuing my subscription. So uh, this is our box. And for the month of April, our hashtag was BoxySpringRevival. So... Let's get into this beauty unboxing. First product out the box is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Now, I'm super excited about this, not only because it was my choice for the month of April, but also because it's Anastasia Beverly Hills, baby. I have their brow pomade, and I have used it since they launched it in 2016. I actually got it in a boxy charm a few months back. And I've been using it like crazy. Absolutely love it. So I'm super excited to try some more products from them. I've been hearing everybody rave about this foundation. And we're here to try it. I won't be doing a wear test today because I don't have the time to do it today. It is currently about 3 p.m. So by the time I come back, it'll be really dark. And I don't have all the lighting for that. So sorry about that, guys. I might do that in another video if you guys are interested. But for now, let's get into this. Again, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. It retails for $38, which is not bad. The current foundation I use is around $40, but I don't always go high-end. I love my drugstore ones, too, because when a girl runs out and you ain't got the money, a drugstore foundation will save your life if you pick the right one. This is a water-resistant liquid foundation that creates a luminous natural finish. The Radiant Formula delivers long-wearing medium coverage, yet still feels so lightweight and looks ultra fresh. Luminous foundation blurs any imperfection without caking or masking the skin's natural radiance. It looks so great on its own, there's no need to set with a powder. For reference, I do have acne prone, blemish prone skin, as well as combo to oily skin and textured and congested skin. I also do have hyperpigmentation and scarring from acne and blemishes. This is the shade 332C, which is, like said, most likely not going to be my shade because this is C meaning cool. If you guys aren't into the world of foundations, cool means you usually have more of a red undertone. And I don't have a red undertone. I have an olive undertone, which is something on a completely different side of the spectrum. 
but I do have some pigments that I will be using to mix in in case it isn't my color. Like I said, it's most likely not, but we're going to patch test it first. This foundation is vegan, gluten-free, alcohol-free, clinically tested, dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist tested. I can never say that. Non-comedenogenic, suitable for sensitive skin, long wearing, and there's no flashback. So this is the packaging. And then if you turn it over, tell me how like extra luxe, simple, but still like really cute that is. Now it does have a pump top. I'm a fan of pump top. Honestly, guys, this actually isn't looking too bad. I do know some brands might say their foundation is a cool, but it might come out more like warm toned. So maybe that's happening right now. I'm going to give it some time to oxidize because that looks actually pretty close. And you see, it blends right in. All right, guys, so here is how it looks. It honestly doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too off. So I'm not going to use the pigments today. I'm going to go ahead and just apply this straight on the face and let's see how it goes from there. It looks pretty full coverage. I did also forget to mention I did use a primer. I personally love to use primer before any makeup look, mainly because I do have textured skin. So no matter even if a foundation says it blurs, I always, always, always use a good blurring primer. I use the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. You guys know this is my favorite primer. It's silicone-free, non-comedogenic. It won't clog your pores, baby. Another technique that I really like for blemish-prone or textured skin to get that more flawless foundation look is actually rubbing the foundation straight onto your skin and massaging it in, then blending it out with a brush. Now, I'm going to show you guys, and this has been a hack that has saved my life. Now, the heat of your fingers... That is also what helps it blend out so much nicer, so much smoother. Your complexion is going to look literally poreless. Let's start with this and see how this goes. Okay, it's not looking bad. I'm going to use one more pump. I'm going to go wash my hands and then come back on camera. And we're going to blend the rest out with a brush just because my hands are very messy now. Still not that bad of a difference in my color, so I'm really liking it. Again, I can always just fix that up with the LA Girl pigments. And wow, guys, look, just, just look at that. It's so like luminous. It's so dewy. It literally does feel like so lightweight on my skin, even applying it the way I did, because that is the most coverage you can get with a foundation if you apply it with your hands. Again, it does help for a flawless complexion. But wow, this is really blending so nicely. I'm using the El Maquillage 105 foundation brush to blend this out. You can use a beauty blender. I'm just a brush type of person i'm a brush gal so this is how the foundation looks blended out very dewy again still very lightweight it does not feel heavy it's not cakey on the skin i'm gonna get up close and personal do you guys see it it looks like it just has this beautiful glowy complexion like i'm living for it i love this foundation and the color wasn't too bad wasn't too bad like I said if i need to i can always mix it with my pigments but i know with anastasia if i went in store and got a little bit of help i probably would be able to find my shade a lot easier i know it did say not to set it but i am seeing a slight bit of under eye creasing if you guys can see it also we did do our brows as you guys can see and you know we had to use the anastasia beverly hills brow pomade that we got in our boxy charm as well as the 7b dual ended eyebrow brush i am using the maybelline lasting fix loose setting powder 
again around the mouth area some on the chin all right guys so we're back our eyes are done well most of it for contour i did do this off camera i used the merit beauty perfecting complexion stick in shade sepia and that was pretty much all we did off camera so let's jump into the next product the next product we're jumping into is this baby right here and this is the lucky chick liquid eyeshadow now i'm not a huge fan of liquid eyeshadows i just personally don't like them uh, but we're going to give this one a shot. If I do use liquid eyeshadows, most likely I'm using them for the inner corner highlight or just to add a little bit of glitter and glam to the look. This baby right here retails for $22. This is also a new brand to Boxy. And it says this gorgeous metallic pink shade creates a beautiful tone while radiating a subtle shimmery glow. It is lightweight, long lasting and has the right amount of shine and luster. Wear a thin layer on the lids or build it up for a more dramatic look. Layering this soothing cucumber enriched eyeshadow makes it perfect for all day wear. Now, that actually sounds really cool, cucumber infused. This is how the packaging looks. And I got the shade Rose Quartz. And just to give you a little swatch. That's actually very, very pretty. That is a beautiful inner corner highlight, and it could actually be used all over the eye. The formulation feels very nice and creamy. It's lightweight. We're going to go ahead and add this on the inner corner of our eyes and see how it goes, but that's how it looks blended out. I honestly think you could probably use this as a highlighter as well. Just a few dots, a little will go a long way. Wow, look at that. Look at that. This goes perfectly with this look. Now we're just going to blend, 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 baby, blend. That is beautiful. Do you guys see that? Look at the difference. I think that is just a beautiful color. Again, it feels very lightweight very buildable easy to blend and it actually dried down just that fast i'm gonna do the other eye and we're gonna get into the next product so now we're on to our last makeup product and i'm super excited because it's a mascara and you guys know how much i love mascaras this is the item beauty lash snack lengthening mascara i've been hearing everybody rave about this mascara sorry guys i'm looking for my pamphlet um, I've been hearing everybody rave about this mascara, so I can't wait. I love a good lengthening mascara, especially one that really defines and doesn't get clumpy. And this is Item Beauty by Addison Rae. This is, again, the last snack lengthening mascara. It retails for $15, so super affordable. And it says this flake-free and smudge-proof lengthening mascara is packed with nourishing last boosters and hydrating conditioners like castor seed oil, glycerin, and coconut oil so your lashes can live large. The unique micro wand, an exclusive complex in the formula, naturally enhances every single lash for three times the volume. Now, that sounds wonderful. You guys know I'm a big educator and a big lover of ingredients, so that sounds pretty dope. I love castor oil. I actually have a whole big bottle from Wow Skin Science. Um, I will leave my affiliate link for the Wow Skin Science castor oil down in the description box below if you guys are interested. Castor oil is great for the eyelashes, the eyebrows, the hair, the nails, cuticles. It has so many benefits. Um, so really cool to see that in a mascara. This is in the shade Midnight Mood. And let me just show you up close before we open this baby up. This is how it looks. Let's get into the satisfaction, baby. It's a chromatic moment. We have our matte blue top. And then it melts into this like ombre white straight into the silver chrome. And that is just so gorgeous. I haven't seen a wand this short and this skinny. So let's see. Let's get into it. Oh. Oh my gosh. Guys. I mean, do you see that? Okay, let me shut up before I mess this up. 
Guys, it's coding every single lash with no problem, no clumping. It's really defining the lash as well. It's lifting the lash as well. Even though I did curl my lashes, I'm noticing it's curling it a little bit more. Wow, I'm 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 impressed. Oh my gosh, guys, do you see that? That is so easy. So stunning. That looks amazing. Can you guys see the difference? I'm straight up and down obsessed. Lash Snack Mascara is my new best friend. Guys, I have a whole drawer of mascaras. You're definitely going to be seeing me use this one more. I'm going to go ahead and do this other eye off camera, and then we're going to get into the next product. All right, guys. So here's the finished look. Let me know if you like it in the comments below. On to the last few products in this box, and then we can talk about what the value of this box was and my impressions of this box. The next product we're getting into today is the Christoph Robin, if I'm saying that correctly, Instant Volume Mist with Rose Water. This retails for $39, which honestly I feel like is a little pricey for a instant volumizing leave-in mist. Um, I personally don't use mists like that, so that's probably why, too. But we're going to go ahead and try it out. This mist makes thin, fine, or flat hair feel thicker and full of body while delivering an easy-to-style hold. Using a delicate rose blend-infused formula with babaog leaf extract and oligo elements from seawater, this mist helps enhance hair's texture and provides a lift at the roots for a long-lasting, volumized look. Normally, I don't test my hair care out or my skin care out right away because I'm usually doing a makeup look for you guys. But we're going to go ahead and try this bad boy out because I feel like my ponytail is getting flat. You guys know I love my ponytail style. So I'm just going to go ahead and see if this does anything. Make sure we push it through the hair honestly i don't really think that did anything maybe we gotta wait till it dries let me see okay i think it did something let me know does it look like it did something i can't really tell it does smell amazing though i'm not really seeing too much going on maybe it's because i already have thick hair It really does smell good, though. It's a nice refresher, I'd have to say. I don't know about this one. We'll have to keep using it more to really see if it does anything. Um, I'm not, like said, noticing a big difference, but I do need to wash my hair, so I'll check it out after I wash my hair. Maybe it'll make a difference. So now we're on to our fifth and last product in the box, and honestly, this one's just so freaking cool looking look at this beauty right here do you see that beautiful like marble blue black midnight golden everything going on right there that is just so beautiful so beautiful you guys know I'm a lover of marble type things so I think that's what really just caught me with this and this is the Sila hopefully I'm not butchering that Sila by Celine Tadrisi Glacier Clay Cleanser I am so sorry. I feel horrible. I'm probably saying that wrong. But this gentle glacial cleansing cream helps the removal of makeup, environmental pollutants, and dead facial skin cells to reveal a fresh glowing appearance. Enriched with natural botanical extracts and minerals from glacial oceanic clay to leave skin soft, fresh, and radiant. And this is also a new brand, Taboxi, and this retails for $45.00. Um, price wise, I honestly have to see how it works. Um, I think $45 is kind of hefty for a cleanser, but it sounds like it has really good ingredients in it. But do you see that consistency? It smells very good too. It has like a slight fragrance. I can't really put my finger on what it is, but it just smells very, very nice. Kind of like almost spa-like. 
and citrusy. I am seeing citrus bergamot. I'm seeing sugar maple orange, sugar cane. Uh, we also have some lavender. So this sounds really interesting. Let's get into our value for this box this month. This month, all the products retailed out to be $159, basically $160. Honestly, I think that's a fair value. That's around the same amount value that I get almost every month. So it's good. It's pretty good. And even though I'm not too excited about every single product in this box, I do like the variation. I think I have said that for another video, for another BoxyTron that I did receive. I loved how they kind of curated it more to be not just makeup or not just skincare. I believe it was my March fan favorites box. If you guys haven't checked that out, then check it out. I got some nail stuff. We got some skincare, I believe it was, and a little bit of makeup. So it was a good little uh, variation that month. It's a good little variation this month. But again, not too, too excited about the volumizing mist. The liquid eyeshadow did a pretty dang good job. But again, I'm not big on liquid eyeshadows. So me personally, I don't mind receiving them. I don't mind getting them and trying them out. But I probably won't use them for my whole eye. Mainly because I do have hooded eyes and it would take a while to dry down. I don't want to sit there as a mom. I don't want to sit there and wait for something to dry because I'm always physically doing something. The Anastasia Foundation, my gosh, is going to be my new holy grail. I am so surprised in how much the color actually matched my skin. I'm like really, really, really like super surprised, guys, because I did not think this was going to match me at all. I thought I was going to have to add my pigments, but it did. So I'm excited. I love the dewiness of it. It's not creasing. It's not caking up. Um, it did crease again underneath the eyes, but we set that area. And from there on out, it was fine. Uh, the coverage is amazing. I don't need a lot. A few pumps goes a long way, especially with the fingertips. And it blends beautifully with a brush. It looks beautiful with cream and powder products over it. And... My gosh, get this foundation if you can, guys. The Item Beauty Snack Lash Mascara. That's another favorite along with the Anastasia Foundation. Love, love, love how this just lengthens, lifts. It defines without the clumpiness. And it just makes your lashes look so good. It's literally a lash snack for your lashes. Y'all definitely got to hop on this one, too. Very affordable, only at $15. And then, like I said, I am super excited to try the cleanser. We haven't tried it yet, so I can't really give my thoughts on that. Uh, but overall, this box was pretty exciting. I was really mainly excited for the Anastasia Foundation. The mascara, I wasn't too excited for until I actually tried it out. And, oh lord, I am obsessed. Obsessed. With that being said, guys... That is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments below if you like this look. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. And if not, which ones do you want to try? And are you going to be grabbing them anytime soon? If you haven't done so yet, please join my Big Beauty YouTube family that's growing and growing every week. Hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you don't miss out on weekly beauty videos, weekly tutorials, reviews, demos. We do it all over here. I love educating about beauty. And I'm never going to misinform you guys. I'll always educate myself so you guys can be educated too. We will see you back here next week on Thursday as always. And as always, y'all stay beautifully awesome. Later.